I'm slightly entertained by the statement in Il Fatto Quotidiano uh, by the present Pope, Pope Francis, that uh, being Pope is not an easy job. Of course, of course it's not. That's why so many of the recent Popes are saints. It's the job of a saint, and it requires the patience of a saint to get through it, to get through the um, politics of the Vatican, uh, to get through the bureaucracy of the Vatican, to get... Um, uh, to be, a, be the person who is constantly on the world stage. Everything that um, the Pope says is listened to and analysed and digested, and a lot of it is rejected. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I fully understand. It's not an easy job. Um, and Pope Francis has drawn a parallel between uh, the job today and the job of St. Peter who he says was fishing peacefully and one day Jesus chose him to become a fisher of men. The Pope is now 86 years old and there is a lot of speculation that he may well retire um, and indeed he points out that the original disciples didn't see eye to eye uh, and there were only 12 of those. Uh, somebody had pointed out the other day that I should in fact um, uh, justify the behaviour of Judas Iscariot. Well, um, I certainly remember uh, I had a, a, a teacher at school who was very keen on the idea of St. Judas Iscariot, the only uh, member of the um, group of apostle, group of, group of disciples who um, had any money uh, in his own right. He was... Um, this, this man argued he was Ish Cariot, a gentleman of Carios, a gentleman of um, a particular town. Uh, I'm not sure it's entirely true. There are other etymologies about Judas, one being that he was really um, a, a terrorist, a, a, um, a person who was a knife wielder, um, and Iscariot was a nickname for that. Um, and then, of course, there's the Philip Pullman book and the um, Last Temptation book by Nico Kazantzakis. Uh, so many, um, uh, many permutations of the um, uh, to try and justify Judas's actions, uh, if indeed they ever really existed. Maybe Judas was a figment of imagination to try and explain why. Uh, Jesus found himself uh, on a cross, why he was crucified by a Roman, uh, uh, according to a Roman punishment rather than a Jewish punishment uh, for something that seems to have been a Jewish crime. Uh, it's wrapped in mystery and I suppose it will continue to be for many years. Um, and St. Peter, the first Pope, the, uh, the, the, the head of the Apostles, uh, is apparently buried under the Vatican. Um, it's all very interesting, but as I say, uh, to be Pope may be difficult, but it requires the patience and the tenacity of a saint to do it well. I think, some, I think Pope Francis has done very well so far.